Guys, it's time once again for another stream with me, Supernatus, of Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's our second play. Uh, last time we finished the tutorial uh, of sword fighting and archery and learned that we uh, are not very good at archery. Now, what else did we learn? We also learned that we're kind of rubbish at lock picking and passable as a sword fighter. Well, when we're fighting against one opponent. I don't know, two or three opponents, we might have some trouble. Um, but what I wanted to do, actually, was I wanted to check something in the settings. Because the thing that made us really not very good... Oh yeah, here we go. I didn't know you could do this. Let's make lockpicking simplified. Let's simplify lockpicking, that sounds good. Um, I was hoping that there would be an option to give us like a, you know, to, to give us like a, um, a cross here for archery, but there isn't. So we just have to, I don't know, be really careful. Or maybe just don't use archery. It looks like we might be able to level up, actually. I don't know what each of the symbols means. Does that mean we're at level 4? Okay, yeah, we can learn a perk. So let's see what these perks are. Aesthetic. It lasts 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. Sounds like a bad move. Uh, manly odour. When dirty, you'll get 50% more charisma when talking to women. That, that's, that, that, that's not how it works, by the way. That, that's totally not how it works. Um, stamina will generate 20% faster at night and 10% slower during the day. No. Uh, increase the sight distance of fast travel. You'll notice events on the way sooner and your chances of evading are also increased by 10%. Okay. Uh, increases the time you can go without sleep. Insomniac. Renegade Brand. Penalties and stats following release from jail are 20% lower. I don't want to spend any time in jail if I can help it. Um, 30% longer without food. I mean, as long as we stay on top of our food, that could actually be quite useful. Let's do that. Yeah. Wait, do I have more than one point to spend? No, I don't. I thought it was saying I had more than one point to spend. Um, but I can't level up anything there, can I? No. Okay. That's fine. So let's have a look at... Yeah, we beat that guy up quite badly. Uh, let's have a look at our missions. There we go. Quest log. So we got... Uh, I spoke to Bernard already. Get out of my way. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. I don't really care if he's taken it badly. We beat him. He didn't like it. He shouldn't have challenged me. It's Careful. true. You might be under Sir Azric's protection. Be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen too. Nah. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. Or the rat house. Have I got to kill rats? Or am I oversimplifying things? So yeah, here we are. Uh, in the very nice, fairly attractive world of the game. You can see a pretty decent distance there. The textures look nice. Didn't really go into much of that before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good looking game. It's a difficult game. Oh wait, I can level up some of these other ones, I think. I didn't realise that. Yeah, we can level up some more of these. So I did that one. Uh, what's this? Stronghold. Blocking an opponent's strikes with your shield will cost you 30% less stamina. That could be useful. Yes, we've got points to spend, actually, in other places. 40% higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. 
Oh yeah, they're a bit of a pain, aren't they? I can carry 15 pounds more. It's got to be a carrying weight upgrade, I'm afraid. Oh, why can't I just go back to... I didn't realise we had updates for these. We've got a speech update too. Final offer. When a trader loses patience during haggling, you get one more chance. The highborn increases your speech level by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have the lowborn perk simultaneously. Uh, yeah, okay. I think, given that most of the people we're talking to at the moment at least are highborn, and I feel like they're the kind of people who are going to be better speech wise. I think we'll, be, we'll stick that on as an ability. I wish we could. We probably could have actually got out of that a different way. Is there anything else that we have upgradable? It seems to suggest we do, but I can't see anything. Oh, that's annoying. Surely we've done all the upgrades we can. Yeah. We haven't got any more upgrades we can use. But yeah, it still seems to be showing me that I can. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So yeah, um, report to the bailiff. Let's continue with our training while we can. We can run by holding the B button, just to get places a little quicker, but it does obviously reduce our stamina. What's that? There's a guy. Is he just like a trader or something? It's a DLC quest. Well, I don't have the DLC, so I guess we won't be doing that. It's probably better to do the main quests from the actual vanilla game first anyway. Because, you know, a lot of the time DLC quests obviously need you to be leveled up a bit, you know. Okay, so we're going to the rat house. I don't know if that means it's a like an exterminator's house, or is that the name of a bar? Jump with X. That's on Xbox, so off Square on PlayStation. Some benches. Just jump over the bench. We're discovering new places though. Uh, we don't want to get put in the stocks if we can help it. Have we got anybody in them? Can we throw apples at them? Throw like rotten fruit at them? Uh, is this the rat house? Hello rat house. It's a sign. Two signs crossed. It would appear this is where we're going. Because our map marker suggested it. This does not look like where we're going. Oh, maybe this is him. That's the tailor. He's not a bailiff. Where's the map? <coughs> Excuse me. In fact... <coughs> One sec. Just needed a small drink. We're zoomed in as far as we can get. Report to the bailiff. That's what it says. Not the tailor. Wait, is this him? That's a shop guard. She's a trader. I don't think he's here. But if I go outside... Well, is there an upstairs to this building? Oh, maybe he's here. Armor Smith. Artisan. Shop Guard. Am I allowed in here? Oh, I'm in a private area. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't want to go in your private area. I honestly didn't. Why? I don't want to go in people's private areas. Lockpick. 
Must be upstairs. Nope, because we have to pick that lock. So it's not there. Well, where is he then? I mean... Oh, I'm stuck. I'm not get stuck. Yeah, I can't go up there. Well, where the heck is he then? Because he wasn't in either of those places. He's not a tailor. Unless he's both a tailor and a bailiff. Getting greedy in the old uh, job titles. But it's here. It is in this area. That's what it said. It said to go here. And then the pointer shows this building. Oh, hang on. There's some more stairs. Aha! Oh, yes, here we go. Here we are. Well, maybe. I don't know, actually. You know, the only thing I will say... If this was Skyrim, be readable books there. But it's a completely different type of game, so... There he is. The Bailiff. What? To you. And you. Is something going on here? Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me. Going on here. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, Careful. So you're the young man, Sir Radzik. We gotta go and uh, collect people's things. Very well. Sir Radzik asked me to test you a little. And as it We've got to go and collect taxes. Or goods. Some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. It might. You can count on me, then. You're certainly bold. I like that. You can count on me. We don't even, we don't even know what the problem is yet. I have. He trained me and then to hand yeah. me and challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capen likes to measure his strength against others. Noblemen, noblemen are quick to anger. Mm -hmm. are quick to anger and you don't I noticed that. that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, I definitely noticed. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman. Nightingale, they call him. Yaroslav the Watchman. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. Sounds good. You need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Okay. So I have to go by the armory. Uh, do I want to deal with any of that? Not right now. May the Lord watch over you. May the Lord watch over me. Well, that's doubtful. What's this place? It's not a private area. It's a little chapel, I guess. That'll be a private area. Yes, it is. I could creep around in these private areas if I wanted to. But I think we want to try and be as uh, upstanding as possible. Uh, let's just have a quick look at our missions. Okay, so we're keeping the peace. We've also got that vengeance quest, but that's where we're going to have to fight the guy that got our father's sword off us in the first place. Uh, visit the scribe in Ujits. Ujits? You should know. I uh, found out the truth about the blacksmith's so-called sorcery. The blacksmith in Sasau. Uh, so we'll have to go there at some point, but that's quite far away. Uh, now we've got the Ratte Tourney. Um, a tournament in Ratte tomorrow. You can enroll by going to see the Herald in the morning. I don't really think I'm ready for that kind of thing. Uh, thick as Thieves. Uh, Wojciech is another miller making unlawful money. Steal five Waffen rocks. Waffen rocks? Yeah. Bring a boar skin to a courier. Etc. Etc. But right now, we're gonna go. So first of all, I need to pick up my gear. Let's get out of here. Was that in that shop that we went to, that we looked at before? Or am I just... So it's A. So yeah, you have 
looking at it like that, you have A and B as um, as places you need to go. So that's the armory. So A is the armory. A is for armory. B is for, I don't know, biscuits. Oh, get out of my way. Don't say hey to me. I'm saying knee to an old woman. I didn't I didn't say knee to an old woman. Anyway, they're not they don't let the knights that say knee anymore. Remember? I need to remind myself of that from time to time. <laughs> not really. Now you know. And to use another quote, knowing is half the battle. I don't know what kind of battle knowing becomes half of. The other half of the battle is fighting as well, so you know that, at that stage it becomes a little more difficult. Oh wait, we're 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 lurking in a place we're not supposed to be in. No, we aren't, because because it doesn't say that I'm in a private area. Step away from my private area. Is this the armory? No. This will be the armory, because all the guards are going in there. You've already got your gear, don't be greedy. What are you doing? I'm coming up the stairs. Did someone? I was told to pick up a kit here. Yeah, give me my kit. Billy. And in fealty to your mum. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. He's got me. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gamberson, and a club. A club. Do you want a kiss and a hug as well? Uh, preferably not. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. But what if the trouble has, you know, weapons that are going to do me serious harm? Doesn't matter, apparently. So we have to equip our bludgeon. And we have to equip our common bassinet. And our light padded armour. And that's pretty much all we have. A padded coif, coif, coif. Got plate coutets. Guess we'll have them on. And we've got a red scarf. We don't really need a red scarf. I don't know if they like if they like people wearing scarves. We've got some van braces as well. That. Oh yeah, that's in replacement of those. The defense ten. Defense four, yeah, these can go. Uh, okay, green shirt. Well, the green shirt and leather jerkin are pretty destroyed. So, kind of pointless thinking about them. Guess we probably want to get rid of some of that stuff. That is one defense. Uh, and the red thing has... Probably not very much either. One, so it really doesn't make any difference. Although we are more conspicuous visible wearing it so maybe 44 49 73 62 so actually we'd be better having the linen hood because if we're sneaking around we're going to be less noticeable wearing it apparently tough as old boots but not today right so we were given that and that was it that's a pretty crappy selection of uh, armour, to be honest. Okay, but we're off now to... Well, we need to speak to the guy, but I think it said we need to wait until evening. We're creeping. We're sneaking with our hand in front of us again. Drop the grimy gloves. Chickens. Good night. Yeah! We can still skin chickens by punching them. I'll have that. 
Need some dinner later, you know. So where is it we need to meet this guy anyway? It was pretty close to where we met the uh, bailiff, wasn't it? Run down the back alleys. That door openable? What's in there? We're inside someone's basement. We're sneaking around in the cellar. Apparently we're allowed to be here because it doesn't say this is a private area. There's nothing in here anyway. Hello, hello, hello to you. Talk to him. Will he talk to us, do you think? What do you need? Cheese. Have you got cheese? Have you got any biscuits? What kind of governor is Sir Hatters? He's strict but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in nothing like that so rancid, so you don't see no one attacking us. Good. Sounds like you're going to say all the same things that people said to us last time we were talking to people about Ratty. Right, there's a dog. What's up, dog? Yeah, that's exciting. There's another dog. Look, it's sitting down. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. They just lie around like they own the place. Maybe they do. Now, I have got some equipment that I'm not wearing that I could probably sell. Do with some food as well. I don't think I've got much money, though. My respects to you. Yeah, and you. Let's talk trade. Uh, let's see what we can sell. So I want all the food, because I feel like... I feel like I can sell anything that's... Well, actually, he doesn't look like he wants to take anything. Okay, forget you then. We're gonna go down here. I think the place we need to go is over there, but there was a shop down here that I wanted to have a look at. I didn't actually go into. There's one there, too. I thought I saw someone in those for a moment. I must be imagining things. Yeah, so there was a shop that we went into downstairs in here when we were looking for the bailiff. What do they sell? What do you sell? What do you trade? You look like you've been assaulted. I have, yeah. But that doesn't matter. Let's talk about trade. Right, so I can sell the stuff that I'm not needing anymore. So you can have that. And the old boots that I don't wear anymore, you can have those, and those. Get rid of the red scarf, and the olive hose. And we're left with what we're wearing, so we don't want to mess around with that too much. And you can buy stuff now. Uh, how much money do I actually have? 77. Uh, that'll add 14. So I wonder if there's anything better that we can have. Like for our legs have a black scarf that's even less conspicuous but look it costs like 67 that's like all our money almost immediately the apron would be worn underneath our armor uh, a blue chaperon don't want that don't don't give me it i don't want it no we don't want a fell hat that's silly have we got anything for like our legs well, we can't have any of that stuff. A dyed quilted coif. Fancy shirt. Very nice. Fashionable green hose cost 167 and a half pounds. Yeah. I mean, it's all just silly, you know? An outer vest. Which I don't need. Green shirt. We have a shirt. I don't need a green shirt. I'm going to get some grey hose. So they might look a bit better than the ones we're wearing right now. Do you know what? I don't actually think I need any of that. Right, let's just sell the stuff uh, that we don't need, just to get rid of it. That'll give us a little bit more money. We could have negotiated on it, but it's just rubbish, so... Who really cares? One sec. I knew you were a good Christian. Thank you.
Let me just check what this place is. Food. Good evening. Good luck. Well, actually, specifically um, sausages and stuff. I mean, really. Best stuff to buy are smoked sausages and salami. Uh, spice salami, good to carry around for when you're hungry and far from town. Cost ten. Ten crowns. Energy minus seven. What does that mean? Well, let's buy two of them. Just as something to have. We'll check our basket and we'll haggle over two sausages. Yeah, you could pay it. Uh, let's see, and I'm not wanting to mess about too much, but let's take it down to... I don't know. Let's take 5.6. See what she says. That's not enough. Fair enough. We'll do 5.8. We'll a, a little more? Okay. How much do you want to bet? She asked me for six. Finally, a reasonable sum. Awesome. Less than six for two sausages. You've been very helpful. Hello, oh, guard. You look like you're tired. You shouldn't yawn in the shop. You're supposed to be working. There's the butcher. Where all the meat comes from. Uh, okay. So where is this guy that we're supposed to meet? Going to be. He's not here right now. It's not night time. But okay, so he's going to be in here. Yeah, he's going to be pretty much in this area. Let's just see who's around, actually. I think that might be him. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? We are, but not now. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yeah, what of it? Teresa, yes, she rescued me. She did. She rescued me from near death. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I'm still doing that right now. I thank her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. For what? So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Because that's where they told me to go. I wanted to enter the service of Sarazi, but he sent me here to learn. Hmm. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sarazi must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Yeah, that's probably true. Henry, we'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect. Should I walk around with my club out? I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okay. We're off. So let's follow him. This is our church at Matthew. Oh good. I'll make sure not to go here. No point running. She's singing. Not only is the house of God, it has the crypt of the Lords of Lyper, our masters. How does it? The grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest too. I'll make sure that if I need their services I'll uh Go and find them. Depends what they're doing, really, doesn't it? Certain ones may not be doing good things. That's not bad, I suppose. Proto notarius. Interesting word. Executioner doesn't live in town. Yeah. Why? It's by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rocking on it. Oh. The swordsmith was here. Well, good. If I need a sword, I'll make my way here. A sword will help. Your field drive Ballow. It's a very interesting place to walk around, but. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Oh, let's see. What's going on?
going on here? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. Oh, careful. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. And what are you doing? Who cares what your name is? This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. What? I'm sure you smell lovely, mate. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Arnold? Yeah. What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch? What, so that she'd go away? Is that true? Might be. Might not. You need to. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. Okay. From the armor of here. I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. So offer to do some work. What would you know about it? Yeah, let's say we'll both contribute. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Yeah, pretty much. That's who I am. Have it your way. God bless you, and and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. I don't think that's true. I think she'd probably be back again tomorrow. You're as bad as each other. Well, we solved the dispute. So let's be on our way. We solved the dispute by talking it through. Which is what I'm going to try and do, I think, for the most part. We only really want to fight when we've got no other choice. Looks like it, yeah. Is there even shelter here? Just little lean-to buildings. Are they not? Yeah, he's a horrible man. Don't hand him anything. Yeah, I don't think that second one's a retirement. You know, I mean, I think when you die... Do they? Hmm. Well, I would hope so too, but, you know, in areas like this, that's what happens in this particular time. People do bad things to each other. For power. In fact, they still do, let's be honest. Is this it? Just a walk along an alleyway. Bad boys, what you gonna do? It's an episode of Cops, the medieval... Medieval variant. This square here, it looks much better during the market. Does it? I don't know, that sounds bad. Pickpockets and all sorts will be hanging about at that point. Where else are we going? They're not going to show me the shops. Oh, they've got their own guards, I suppose. Let's see if there's anything else we have to sort out. Oh, he's mad, is he? President shouting at us. Maybe he does. I mean, you know, maybe she's not even alive anymore. Maybe he's got a body locked up. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll Who? What filthy beggar? Who are you talking about? This guy? Right, let's be careful. Let's not... Okay, there's absolutely no reason for this. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Ah, um. Everyone. If the Hunters saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. You don't need to be so harsh, mate. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arms. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Okay, but that woman was standing in front of a shop. 
Raiders Tavern. The others up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Oh, so we're going for a drink, are we? No, don't tell me it's my round. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay, let's do that. Let's go wherever it is you want us to go. Let's just do it quickly. It's a slow walking follow quest. Everybody's favourite kind of quest. Almost feels like, you know those... And if you remember the first Gears of War, those sequences where whenever... In fact, I think they did it in the others too. Where you were on the radio or whatever, talking to somebody. So you walked really slowly. Wait, what, what the... She did a 180 degree turn and walked the other way. What? I'm only one person. You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Yeah, they're dead. So screw you. What is it, lad? Screw you, buddy. They were murdered. He was killed in Scullet. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh well. Careful putting your big foot in your mouth next time, eh? Papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same. But I know a little how you feel. It really isn't the same. You're right. He wasn't stabbed to death by knights on horseback, was he? Who's this guy? The innkeeper. We're not asking him for money or anything, so that's okay. So basically we're just supposed to walk around and chase away anyone that's hanging around and begging in places they're not supposed to be. That seems to be about the only job that we're being tasked with at the moment. Yeah, just tell people to go away. Stop people from fighting. I'm sure that information will come in handy at some point. Here a lord, there a lord, everywhere a lord, lord, yeah. Have we not been here already? Are you going in circles, mate? This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Make up your mind. Doesn't seem to know where he's going. Is he drunk? Maybe he is. Guess we'll never know. Not oh, as a beggar again. Is he okay down there? Is he? That's not the church. I mean, that's not a church, but he looks like he's begging. Is that okay? Is it? You just don't like that one guy, yeah? Is that what it is? Just that one guy. You don't like him. So you chase him away every chance you get. What about this guy? He's having a seat. Is he okay to have a seat there? Someone said help me. It's quiet today. Shame. Now where might he have got to then? Who knows? He's probably at home with the the dreaded plague. Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? He might. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um yes. You're probably right, yeah. So where is he? in the tavern. He was thirsty. So he decided to to desert his post. I've got to talk some sense into him. Can we just club him on the back of the head? Oh wait, no, then he won't be conscious, will he? Is he in here? Oh, look who it is. Excuse me. You. I thought I was talking to him. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get Do your job. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! There. Satisfied? Get okay, moving. What are we doing? Was that it? Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Oh, he can't have a drink, but we can. 
double standards, I'm telling you. So he did. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. We've been walking around for like five minutes. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Oh, a game, is it? A game. Why not? Why not? Let's see what it is. I don't have money to be... So what am I doing here? Alright, so I have to hold dice. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I guess maybe we'll hold the three sixes? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, I bast. I don't know what that means. What am I supposed to keep? Oh, I keep keep the low ones. Wait, what? I don't understand. So that's worth a hundred. Oh, I'm supposed to be like running them in order. Let me just see something. We'll try your hand at gambling. It's possible to play the dice game. Uh, that's worth a hundred points. Five's worth 50 points, three of a kind's worth 100 points multiplied by the number. So wait, that would have been 600 points. Uh, four or more of a kind is worth double the points of three of a kind. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six is worth 1,500 points. Of course, it's worth something. Uh, okay. Player's turn begins by throwing all six dice. Select and set aside scoring dice. The element is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring dice, then the player's turn is over, and all points gained up to that point during the turn are lost. So you have to get something that's worth some kind of score. Uh, the Devil's Head is set of a dice with a joker instead of the one which acts... Okay, I don't get that. Anyway, he is doing quite well. Your turn. My turn, is it? Right, let's see what we got. Pretty much uh, nothing is what we've got. Um, I have no points, which is great. We've got two, three, four, five, six. Let's try something. Um, What's that? So that's 750 points. Just wanted to see what's worth more. Three, four, five, six. I think we'll just score that and pass on to the next turn rather than uh, taking too many risks. I'm probably not very good at this game anyway, but. One. He's only got one on that one. It's only worth a hundred. And then he's got five black five, which is one, which is fifty. And he's got five and a one, and another one, which is another lot of points. I think he wins. Luckily, I don't think we were doing anything. We weren't doing that for any kind of money or anything, so that's okay. Okay, what's that? Closing the tavern. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up. We close up at this hour. Except of course during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. Oh, you stay open all night. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. Trader's tavern. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Oh, we're going to have a torch. Well, that's good. It's forbidden to walk around without a torch. There we go. Okay, where are we going? 
So the first thing is ring the bell. We're stuck. Go away. Okay. Uh, there's some people here. With torches. I'm not going to talk to that guy. I'm just going to go and do the job that I was asked to do. Ring the bell three times. There's a few people walking around without torches there. Should I beat them over the head with my club? That's what happens if you can't see where you're going. You get smashed to the back of the head with a club. I have to go all the way down here. It's such a long way. <coughs> it's ever so far away. So I don't know, is this something we're going to have to repeatedly do? Right, so where's this bell? There's a stock. So we need to ring the bell three times. Is that the bell there? It sure is. And then close the trader's tavern by the market square. I bet you we get in trouble here. Some kind of fight's going to happen, isn't it? Is this the trader's tavern? No, where is it? Got a bit of running to do again. Because it's all the way back up here. I don't know that we actually rung the bell three times though, did we? Let's see what happens. We're going to get in a fight with people who don't want to leave. And the cannon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We're going to get in a fight. Oh, wait, is that the guy that we had a fight with? It is, isn't it? I mean, if these are nobles, can they do whatever they want? <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. Well, do we not just find the landlord and say you need to shut? <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and palace. God save the sounds, pig. sounds like an interesting toast. So, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> yeah, what are all those scars on your face for me? Your village now, boy. <laughs> no, sir. Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all. No, everyone. I need all of the outside that. You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gun edge. If I yeah, I already beat him up with a sword. I already beat him. Bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff? <laughs> doesn't like arm. the bailiff. I hope just you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rath The one that's currently... Oh, is he here? Yeah, no he's not, but you're not him. Table, so, <laughs> whatever mate. No! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I show up. Surely hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk that. I'm a nobleman! You're a pain in the backside. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel... Wait, who's fighting who? We can't, be, we can't be fighting. What are you doing? Come on, mate. Settle down. I need to move away because I'm getting tired out. Move. Oh, we're on fire. We're on fire. I'm on fire. I can't fight him with these. What have we done? What's happened? He stopped. What in the name of Christ is happening here? 
Hell! Answer me, damn you! This yeah. insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. I didn't insult you. Around in the mud like a hog. That's a fine example of noble conduct. Yeah, well. Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky son. Oh, shut your mouth. Have you gone out of your mind? I'm supposed to be keeping the peace with everybody. Not simply the peasants. He doesn't have any, so how can he... Uh, how can it be bad for his honour? Fights. It looks like I've given him something annoying to do tomorrow. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll put an arrow in the back of your head. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's just what I always wanted. I've got a dagger. Maybe we can backstab him in the woods. And be like, oh, he fell off his horse. Sorry. We could, like, skewer him on a, on a spiked up bit of wood and then... It would look like he'd fallen on that. Not anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord's capon. Hey, thanks for the follow. How to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. What? From his from his sofa? Not his sofa. He probably doesn't have a sofa. Probably has a. Uh, I suppose a, a straw bed somewhere, you know. But we managed to keep the peace at least. Where am I supposed to sleep? The prey. So this is going to be our, our hunting quest uh, with that royal pain in the, you know. Uh, lead, meet Lord Capon at dawn in the courtyard of the upper castle. What if I don't want to? I guess I don't really have any choice. Uh, go and see Teresa the mill wench before noon. I feel like it seems like we're supposed to rest somewhere, but I don't actually know where. I don't remember anyone saying to me, oh yeah, this is where you're going to sleep. Is there like a guardhouse? Yeah, that's a good question. Is there a guardhouse? I mean, after all, I am I am apparently a guard now, so... Well, there's a quest there behind that DLC quest that we can't do. Uh, the map's moving on its own. It's not obviously it's moving because my controller's moving. I don't see anywhere we can sleep. Is there like we've got alchemy benches and stuff like that? We turn some uh, lead into gold. Maybe not. There's a camp? Am I supposed to go to the camp? There's an activity giver down there. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Let's go there and see what it is. But I have a feeling we're going to need to sleep at some point. Maybe we can sleep at the camp. Nobody told me I couldn't. Oh, I don't have my torch. It's illegal to travel without a torch at night. I don't know how they'd know. They wouldn't be able to see you. <laughs> we can do our random sneaking where he puts one hand in front of him. I don't know what he's doing. It's to maintain his balance, I guess. If we see any chickens, we'll punch them so they explode into feathers and immediately get skinned. Don't like sneaking. Are you alive or dead? It appears he's alive. We can talk to him, but he's sleeping right now. Yeah, look, so all the, all the people that, that come here, like the peasants or whatever, they're expected to, 
to just sleep out in the open air. There, I can sleep there, but I don't know if I'm supposed to. When's dawn? Dawn would be when the sun rises. Would that be dawn? About five o'clock? Maybe six o'clock, just to... It's a nice eight hours sleep. Just a nice round eight hours sleep. Like people could get eight hours sleep at those times. Wait. Even you own the place. Snoring here. Clear off. Pardon? There's beds here. What do you need? Good luck to you. How about I smack you in the head? I'm a guard. Who do you think you are? Be on your way. <laughs> Still dark. So I guess it's not dawn. So now we've got to go with a, a very entitled nobleman. Hey, I'm one of you guys now. They don't even say hi. They just stare at us. Like I said, you've just come in here and you've taken my job. Oh, who's this guy? Hey, Milan. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay. Interesting start. Are you the brawler who takes theft? What's it to you? Just wondered. And I'd like to try my luck against you. Well, right now. On, I know who you are, and I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why, yeah, why silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. Oh, I've got money. Wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. Okay, and what are the rules of this fight? Nigh a couple. Whoever lands on his ass or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Okay, yeah, that's, that's understandable. Hey, yeah, let's fight. fight then, if you think you can take it. <laughs> if you think you take it. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Come on. Beat two other regular brawlers. Beat two regular brawlers. Ringlet. Okay, so... That's all he's going to tell me. I have to go and find them, I guess. I guess I'll look for them at some point. So there's another extra little... A uh, thing we can learn to do. Probably best not to do it in the middle of the night anyway. Although, you know, is that is that becoming of a guard? You know? And here's this guard and he likes punching people's heads off. Well, actually, to be fair, they probably do anyway. Where was that again? I completely forgotten. <laughs> completely forgotten where, like, everywhere is. Was that the... The miller from before. Which is like all the way up. Ah, right. I mean, he's all the way up here, isn't he? But then I've got to get all the way back there by dawn. I'm still kind of getting used to this map. It's a little bit... Confusing at times. Is that up here? Yeah, Talmberg. Now oh, that place there. Uh, that place down there, yeah. It's noon, is it? I thought it said dawn. Yeah, meet Lord Capon at dawn in the courtyard. Uh, but there was also a mission over here, wasn't there, to meet that? Person. Okay. <laughs> we'll work it out. This was the place, wasn't it? Uh, steal these five Waffen rocks. Keys to the Talmberg Armoury. And that one. Yeah, it's here, isn't it? That's... 
That is where the miller is. Do I have the fast travel activated? Okay, if I travel back... It's in Ratty, is it? See, I totally... I thought the miller was further up than that. Because this was obviously after we... Oh, a quest tipster. So we can give us some tips. Oh, is it in, oh, up here? Of course it is. Of course it's there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I didn't, I didn't actually look at that and I guess if I fast travel there now, I'll be, probably by the time I get there, it'll be morning and I'll have to come back. <laughs> I just completely forgot where he was. And this is his house, right? His yard, yeah, there's that pit of bones. Hello. Greetings. Who have you been? How have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. Neither can I, and, you know, his parents died there. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not no, she feels like a human being. It's getting too late now. But if you pick me up during the day, I'll be glad to take a walk with you. Okay. Is her ladyship command? When I get a chance to, I'll do that. Have I brought her something? No, I want I want to keep my dagger, thanks. Anyway, that'll do for now. Uh, so we've got to meet her before noon, I believe, uh, in order to take her for a walk. Right now we need to sleep, and here we are. Now we can sleep till morning. I don't know, that's probably around about dawn, isn't it? Just run back and meet that entitled noble. Thanks, I really couldn't remember where the heck I was going. Doesn't help that I think it was about a week since the last time I I played this. You don't think that should happen, but you know, you, you do you do that sometimes, you, you kind of, you stop playing something for a little while. Even just a couple of days. It's amazing how you forget how half the things work. I'm waiting to get into an actual fight and I'll find out that all the things I did in the tutorial I've completely forgotten. <laughs> okay, we're okay. There's a tournament happening in Ratty. I don't know that I'm going to be much use at a tournament, to be honest, at this stage. Okay, there we go. That is definitely... Dawn. I guess we're going this way. Have a look. Okay, so he's all the way over here. Is there a fast travel point there that would save us some time? Is that one up there? Okay, so I'll fast travel there to the upper gate. I mean, it's not that far away. We could probably have ran there without any major difficulty, could we? But that'll save us some time. Great if you could just stop, you know, while you're continuing on the fast travel, just... Why is he taking so long? You just go, there I am! And, like, cancel the fast travel. I like the way that it's, uh, it's done there. Just 
probably at the bottom, isn't he? Yeah, he must be over here. Now he's going to shout at us for uh, being late or something. Where is he? See them? Are we in the wrong place? I think we probably should have gone in the other gate, shouldn't we? Ah. Because it looks like he's the other side of that building. Or am I too late to meet him now? Not that I really want to anyway, I'd rather he went out on a hunting trip and had an accident. And then what would they do? Oh, chickens. One skinned chicken. By way of punches. Aha. There he is. There he is. There, where? Where is he? There's a horse. Has he turned into a horse? Oh, there he is. <laughs> that would be a major, that would be a heck of an accident. If he turned into a horse. Have you got a horse? No, sir. No, I'll use yours. You can walk. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Yeah, would that not be oh, easier? Certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. God be with you. And then he says, and then he closes it off with, God be with you. You're a peasant. God be with you. Can I use Bernard's horse? in some trouble if he used his horse, wouldn't I? This... This guy, man. This guy. I suppose it makes sense, though, you know, I'm pretty sure, like... I don't need a, I don't need a torch anymore. Put the torch away. How many dogs does he have? Just the one. No, two dogs. Come on then. Oh, I can unhorse him. <laughs> oh, better, uh, better eat something before he runs away from me. Um, where's that sausages that we bought? I feel like those are going to be useful. Maybe an apple. Breakfast of a sausage and an apple. Oh wait, I shouldn't eat those. Have I eaten a few of those? I've just realised that they're rotten. Oops. We're going to be feeling really horrible just now, aren't we? Poisoned! Although, you know, from eating an apple... I suppose if they're rotten though, you know, it'll make your stomach feel a bit sore. Yeah, what about it? Yes, sir. Anna's was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. Should have behaved more gentlemanly. Does he even know what that means? Can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. This He's not a cannibal, at least. things in the arena, sir. I, I was um, a little upset. I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever they, I do they had good reason though. For my honor, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Okay, he's surprisingly Let's not spoil our hunt. He's actually been surprisingly nice. It's all it's all a trick, isn't it? There's going to be people lying in wait to ambush us. Or me in particular. I don't trust this guy. Let 
let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This can't yeah, why not? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. That would be good if I could learn something useful. That would, that would be great. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. A minion. The... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. You're right. That, that's... By the time you've hit a bunny with a pitchfork, you're probably going to be... You're not going to have much meat left, I wouldn't imagine. I suppose the... The thing with this game, maybe, as opposed to some other first-person RPG type games, uh, you know, the obvious thing is the, the sense of a lot more realism, I guess. Um, that is so, I don't know if that's a suitable topic. But there is early on at least a feeling of I'm walking around doing extremely menial tasks. But let's be honest, you know, most people in these, this era, I guess, of time, you know, it's not like they'd be running around jumping from buildings and slashing at people with swords and... It's kind of a peasant simulator early on, isn't it? Yeah, he's uh, he is turning out to be to feel like quite a nice guy, surprisingly. Well, if I had a horse, I'd get there a lot quicker. Hmm. Clearing the fog of war. I like that. That the kind of clouded over area. So they are the places you've not been yet. Ah, oh, we can fast travel back here in future. Yeah, I like that because, you know, in a lot of these, as I say, in a lot of these kind of games, you know, you're immediately thrust in as the hero, you know, and so it's definitely a much more interesting kind of story. Where everything seems totally hopeless initially. You feel a little more invested in the character. It's kind of a pity you can't create your own character in it. Um, I feel like that would give you even more investment in it. But then again, I suppose the advantage of not having a created character is that at least the story then can make sense for the character you're playing as. And of course, I suppose the biggest problem with the... Uh, oh, bring you wine from your saddlebag. Yeah, you just waited until I sat down to tell me to do that, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose, it, as I say, what's good is, you know, at least by making you have the same, the one character, you don't end up having weird storylines where you've decided to, I don't know, play as a female character who, at this time in the past, would not have been uh, doing what maybe, you know, in other games they, they do. So I suppose that that kind of realism is a good thing, isn't it, you know? And is easier to deal with if your character is kind of set in stone. Maybe that's part of it, you know, the idea that you don't have any control. How come Hannes looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an we haven't started hunting yet, so I, you know I don't know what he's going to do to me. He's just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? Hmm. What are you implying? Nothing. That you could do with growing up a bit, mate. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so. Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my other two. Only, the king is gone. 
There's no king. And what does he do with his time? Well, gets drunk and goes hunting, obviously. When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying I didn't beat him at archery. I did beat him at swordsmanship. I managed to beat him with a sword, but I don't know with the archery. You know, the biggest problem I found with that was, I know you get like a little, like a little dot in the middle of the screen normally, but there was no like crosshair with the archery, um, and obviously it's very wobbly. So yeah, I, uh, I didn't beat him at the archery. I didn't even score. Uh, I didn't even manage to get an arrow on the target, but I did beat him with the sword. So. The most dangerous game. Well, oh, humans. It is, yeah, I find it really difficult. It's like as well, you know, the the lock picking. My god, because I'm doing it on a controller, I mean, I've tried I've tried just on this game changing it down to the more simplified version, but uh, when I didn't realise that was available, you're trying to like find the sweet spot with the right stick and then move it with the left stick. Lockpicking seems like the hardest thing to get to grips with so far. That's going to take a lot of practice, I think. I don't know, sir. I and yeah, archery as well, because, you know, I don't suppose I can go through the entire game just trying to talk people out of things. Both of my parents were killed in Scully. Right in front of my eyes. But yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, the game doesn't want to hold your hand too much, does it, I suppose, so... I can kind of understand that. Uh, yeah, I tried the. I tried his little quest with the uh, with the lock picks. I broke every single one of them. Uh, so I kind of failed that. Um, but you know, maybe I'll, I'll look at it again now that I've turned it to the more simplified one. The only trouble is, you know, the lock picks cost so much money. Like compared to a lot of other things, I mean, everything costs a lot of money, I suppose. Uh, and I don't suppose there's any stage where you're going to be there's any stage where you're going to be like having lots of money uh, what did he say rest until when until night time I need to remind myself when he said to rest until because I've forgotten already <laughs> Yeah, we'll just wait until dawn. Yeah, of course. Okay, so dawn is what? 5 a.m.? Yeah, I'll need to I'll need to learn a bit more with the lock picks, I think. Um and take my time with it. I've heard the pickpocketing one's not great as well. Um Not easy at least. Uh but I haven't tried that yet and the kind of character I look to play as usually, I don't usually use that. But lockpicking is a pretty heavy thing that I do tend to use in in similar games. But of course, this is quite different from those, I suppose. So, am I going to need food? I think I can level up. Yeah, well, that's it. There's lots of stuff, obviously, uh, that you can steal, isn't there? So, uh, that's just lying around. Where's he gone? Maybe it's not quite dawn. But I noticed, I think I can level up. No, maybe not. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably find myself doing that once I once I get to grips a bit more with kind of uh, sneaking and things. Obviously, I mean I noticed I was using some of the equipment which uh, which makes you a bit more noticeable, uh, like that red scarf that he has at the beginning. Um, uh, so I noticed that I just noticed that a little while ago that there's 
obviously stuff to look at to see how conspicuous you are. Has he disappeared? I can sleep and save my game, but... Maybe I should do that. Well, what time is it? Surely... Right, well, we'll go one more hour. Maybe dawn isn't quite right at five. Maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Yeah, I'll probably start doing that from, from places, just selling as much as possible. Okay. That's definitely morning. Was he there the whole time? Wake him up early. Wake up, sir. It's time to go. What? Are you mad? It's still dark. No, it isn't. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Well, it's not dark. I'm going to break my neck in the black of night. Why not just sleep? See you later. It's not dark. There's light. There's daylight. Are you serious? Is this a different time of day to you? Okay. Interesting. Well, we could knock him out. <laughs> Just knock him out. If we came back without him, I think we might be in some trouble though. Plus, I only have a club, and I reckon if I club him in the back of the head, he's going to pretty quickly, uh... We could get his horse and just leave him here. Can we do that? No, we can't steal his horse. Apparently it's dark. I think he's just lazy. in there. We've got some hunting arrows and things. Uh, oh, and a sax. Oh, now you're ready. <laughs> really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. I didn't even get a chance to take that stuff. That's still to be, uh, whether you're better is still to be seen, I think. We'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Well, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help me. <laughs> After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. So I've got to... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Too late, dung grubber. No choice. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested fox hunters, and I don't want you... Well, that's not fair. Okay, let's take all this stuff. Because obviously we're going to need that. We're looking for hairs. I don't even know where to begin. I can't even remember... Okay, let's get some of these things equipped then. So we're going to need... I didn't even equip my bludgeon. That could be useful. And I guess we want arrows. So they do... The poor quality arrows actually do more damage than the hunting arrows? Clearing, okay. Well, let's take those ones. So down this way. And over there, is it? A 
huh. Oh, don't want to. I didn't want to fire the arrow. <laughs> so they're down here somewhere, are they? Let's see if we can find any hairs. Ah. Don't want to move too slowly because he might have finished. By the time, uh, I don't need to sneak around so much right now. All right, okay, I'll take a walk around. I don't think I saw like some kind of animal lurking. I assume I should probably be like creeping, like sneaking rather than uh, walking around or running around. That one over there? Oh, yeah. I don't even know if I can hit it, though. They're probably going to run away now, aren't they? Oh, no, they didn't. I need to be able to actually see where they are, don't I? to be able to take them down. Aha. Doesn't seem like... That looked like it went to right where they were. But they're not... Oh wait, there's one. Aha, I did hit it. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that's one. I'm going to assume that uh, one isn't enough. Don't know where the other one went. I think there were two of them there. They don't seem to run away either. I thought they'd run away if they heard me lumbering around, you know. Well, there was one over there for a moment. But there wasn't. We did see a second one when we were following that one, but it looks like it's it got away. Nothing moving around. The one's not really going to work. Uh, <laughs> I 
So that was where we got the last one. I didn't see the other one running away, but... That. I thought I saw something down there. Nope. Uh, I guess if I just stay in the clearing, it's easier to see things there than it is to see them in amongst the trees. It's a bit silly to try and around in the trees looking for them. It's a pity if you want me to hunt butterflies, there's plenty of them around. Oh, there's one. I missed him. Missed him. Oh, he's stuck. Still missed him. He's right there and I can't hit the damn thing. I was just slightly to the left. What? what? I actually don't think I've got any arrows left. Or uh, equip different arrows. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Ah, oh, it's gone! Oh, but it's just up there. I think it overshot it by like a tiny little bit. Where is it? There. Well, I might have winged him actually. Too high. I'm gonna root I'm gonna lose all my arrows before I get a second here. Nope, still alive. I just hit a tree. I'm terrible with the bow, like properly terrible. Is there a way to to like stop it from wobbling? Too high. Too far to the right. Oh, can you pick the arrows up? If I can find them. Come on. Absolutely terrible at archery. I just totally wobbled off there and missed by a long way. I don't think I, I, that one that I managed to get it was like a lucky shot. It really was. That was too low. That was nowhere near. Just following around a single hair. Too low. <laughs> oh my god. And the thing is, you don't get much, you don't get very long to fire, do you? That was just to the right. That was just behind him. Too close. We were too close. Surely that hit it. No, he's still running away. I think I'm just going to fail this mission, to be quite honest. I don't suppose there's a huge amount of trouble from failing, apart from that he'll mock me. But 
I'd rather at least get more than get more than one hair. I think I've lost this this hair. I have actually lost it now. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yeah, I may as well go and look for another one. Can I attack? Do I have to shoot arrows at it? Can I... See, the only trouble is with the arrows, it's good that you can... that you can pick them back up, but I can't remember where they are. <laughs> I should be looking at where the shots go and picking them straight back up afterwards. I suppose the trouble is if I was trying to hit them with a melee weapon, I'd have to get close and they, they don't let you get close. Okay, we'll go and look for another one. Aha! Got one. An easy shot for once. That's two. There's another one. Too high. I think that's another one anyway. It was moving a moment ago. Too far to the right. The left, should I say. Ah. Too high. That, that, like that here we just shot. Oh, there's an arrow. I just saw something. Yep, there we go. Meanwhile, because I've turned around, that here is gone. Goodness knows where. Here, there, and everywhere. Can you see over there? No. Aha. But, oh no, of course I don't actually have any arrows equipped now, do I? Oh, I moved too quickly all of a sudden. I think I just need to take it really slowly. Just missed him. He's coming quite close, but he's running away now. Wait, did we only have one of those arrows? Okay, we're going to come across a bit of a problem. Because I've got absolutely no way of finding my arrows. And that was my last one. Can I use that to attack it? Come on here, I'm not scared of you. Oh, they're, they're far too fat. They're far faster than me. If I could find my arrows, if there was some kind of marker for where my arrows were, that would be good. I hope he gets stuck in a tree or something. Yeah, I'm not going to catch him to be able to do like a melee attack. I can see that already. I guess I need to look at the ground and try and find my arrows that were all over the place. I don't think we're going to... Yeah, I think that, I mean I think the second one we got I think was a bit of luck. Just happened to fire the right shot at the right time. I keep my eye out though, if a hare appears near me I can and I can lash out quickly, we'll try and take it. In the meantime, I'll look out for any of my arrows being on the ground. You can't even see them, can you? Ah, 
I think we're going to have two and that's going to be it. What's that over there? Oh, up at the camp. Yeah, I'll maybe do that. But I think I took them all. Or at least I took all the ones in that crate, but maybe there's more lying around. Because obviously the hares are too fast to uh, to chase down with a bludgeon or whatever. Ow. Camp's behind me. It's gone too far. <laughs> Maybe he's abandoned me in the forest. And then to my right, so it should be down here, right? Oh, well, I thought I'd hurt myself there, but apparently I didn't. Yeah, none left in there, but maybe we'll find some elsewhere. There's nothing, is there? We can pop. Not that I just checked. Yeah, there's nothing. The horse is still here, so he's not run off on me. He doesn't have anything. We can't get anything out of the horse. There's a hair right there. Yeah, we're not fast enough to catch that. Yeah, there's no arrows there. And it knows I'm behind it, doesn't it? They just run along smacking the ground. <laughs> In the hope that I somehow come across a hair and just happen to be lucky enough to punch it. I'll pick some stuff while we're walking around if we can't do anything else. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to have to deal with having only two I fired quite a lot of arrows into this bush. Yeah, I, I should have I probably should have picked up more arrows when I was walking around. But when I, when I didn't find myself getting on very well with archery, I kind of kind of thought to myself, maybe I don't have to use it all the way through the game. All these little things are going to build up to problems eventually. Right, what time is it? And it's noon, so he's going to be looking for us. I thought it was a hair, it was just a flower, uh, some sage blowing in the wind. Yeah, it looks like I'll just have to come to him and say, yeah, I only got two. Poor me. At least I got some. It would be much worse if I got absolutely none, that would be...
Mind you, you know, he said noon, he'll probably appear at like three o'clock. Oh, well, she still didn't hurt herself enough, so... Just have to... Come back as we are with only two. Well, unless he's disappeared entirely. There are some areas where I think you could probably, in reality, jump up there quite easily, but... I wonder where he went, anyway. He went up here. Find him, maybe you could pickpocket him and steal all his, uh, steal all his hairs. <laughs> well, I got five hit. Wait, I've got none. I don't think that's going to work, is it? <laughs> I said to meet him at noon. And he hasn't come back. Well, I think I can give up on looking for hares because I have no, I have no arrows, and it's a hell of a hunt to. So let's wait an hour, and maybe he'll turn up. Of course, it wasn't quite noon yet, was it? At that stage, you have to kind of give up, don't you? <laughs> Here he comes, ready to gloat, no doubt. He's got like eight hairs over his shoulder. Where are you going? Hope you're not planning on riding off on me. All right, Hans. So how many did you get? I got two. It's not bad though. Quite good actually. For a common blacksmith boy. Well that's as much of a compliment as we're gonna get from him, isn't it? Jesus, the insolence. Wait. Did I what? Did I get more than him? Very well then. Your serf humbly thanks you. Wait, what did he get? Two? None? Let's go and hunt some real game. Sorry, one? I mean, did I just hear a wolf? No, that's your dogs. Henry, follow me. We're going hunting. I thought that's what we were doing. I mean, come on, the only weapon I've got is a bludgeon. I can't even... Keep following him, walking behind his horse and his two dogs. So what are we hunting now? Human beings. He's going to give me a head start and then he'll start shooting arrows at me. I mean, he seems a little more trustworthy than I expected, uh, you know, based on earlier interactions with him, but I just feel like we shouldn't get too comfortable with him. Where are we going? 
deeper into the woods. Oops. Okay, we've got our club out just in case we need it. In fact... Well, we should be equipping that really, shouldn't we? A knife's always going to be more useful than a, a bludgeon. I suppose it depends what you're fighting with. Boar? Like okay. Okay, I understand. Hunting accidents happened all the time back then, didn't they? Oh, there's one. Not much of a boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? Is now all of a sudden you're a master hunter, are you? They probably knows people who hunt them. Yeah, watch as it turns round and rams you. Did you see that? All oh, right. <laughs> that one's good. A weak point. Quiet. So next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you just fuck after him. Uh, fetch. Mount up on what? I don't have a horse. Are you going to take me as a passenger? Okay. I guess we're not doing anything. We're just standing around. We've got to run down a boar. Well, where is the boar? Did he go this way? Oh, where are you, you fool? Oh, there he is. No. That's some deer, though. See him over here? He's obviously never hunted a boar before then. Otherwise he'd have known that they're pretty tough. I'm actually surprised though, I mean a lot of the time with like wild boar they're probably more likely to attack you aren't they rather than like run at you. They think they can get away with it, then again with the dogs there maybe not. Where in the world have they gone? Okay, we're outside of the search area now, aren't we? It's quite a large searching area. Hmm. So you don't want to run too much, but... I feel like being on the edges of it. Oh, I hear the dogs somewhere. 
just rocks. How are we going to stop him? We don't have a spear. We fashion run out of some twigs and our dagger. Come on, boar. Don't want to hurt you, honest. I just want to kill you a little. Over there. Well, it's not something moving, it's just the way the sunlight is moving off the rocks. And we're outside of the search area again. I mean, I'd have thought, even though, okay, the, the arrow is not going to take it down instantly, it is bleeding, isn't it? Like a stuck pig, perhaps. What's that? Oh, that's a rock. It's not a pig that suddenly died. I don't even hear the dogs properly anymore. I could hear them in the distance. sake. What's that? That's not a boar, but I wonder... Can you get close to one of them? No. And we're outside the search area again. Hmm. Where would a boar hide? If I was a boar, where would I hide? I think I've gone really far outside the search area. There we go. How far down we can go? I can hear the dogs every now and again, just in the distance. They're not... At any distance that's going to be particularly helpful. Hmm. I saw something moving along next to me there for a moment. I don't think a boar would stay that close. Hmm. What is the search area for this? It's pretty massive. For a single person walking around on their own to traverse. I haven't even heard his horse going past. I thought that was it for a moment, but it was a log. Mud holes. No. I thought maybe like a muddy watering hole. We're just following the edge of the, the route now. The fact that I haven't heard the dogs in quite a while makes me think it isn't this way. About to hit the road.
He did say to like stay on top of mounds to try and find it, didn't he? Because I haven't heard the dogs at all. And I heard them much louder up in this direction. I'm thinking I want to kind of be around that area. If it's inside the woods, that's going to be much difficult, much more difficult to find. Which means it probably is. Come on, dogs, bark so I can hear you. What's that? That's a hare. No time for you today, Mr. Hare. We're hunting larger game. And not very likely either. I suppose if I run... Oh, a bandit! Oh no, I, I'm getting too involved in fighting that guy and there's another guy. Come on then. Oops, now we're in trouble. He's dead. Oh no, well. Come on then. Where'd he go? Oh, he's... Is he dying too? Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, you've got a lot of stuff. My money or my life, eh? Guess that's the answer to that question. Where is this... This boar? This is like a really infuriating... I can't... Oh, I'm overloaded. Let's have a look and see what was in that. What was amongst that that we can keep and what's amongst that that we could get rid of. Uh, armor. Let's change to better condition hunting gloves. I want a leather jerkin that's in... Better condition, I guess. Nope. So they all had some stuff that was better. I won't complain about taking some better items. That seems to be about it. I'm going to have to get rid of some of my gear in order to... or some of the stuff in order to run again. And still... I can't find this boar. Maybe that'll work out in my favour, you know, not having... I thought that was it for a moment, but no. Where are they? Can't sprint well. Overloaded. I got that, thanks. What's that down there? I have no idea. Oh, 
Where are you? Where are you? I just want the dogs to make a noise or... What's this place? Oh! We found hands. Who? Where are they? Let's release him. Get him untied. Never mind the boar then. I guess we've got something better to do. Where's your horse and your dogs? Uh oh. Are they coming? Or have we escaped? Wow, that has to be the stupidest guy. Oh, I can't run. So, excuse me, I can't run. I need to throw some stuff away, I think. Uh, get rid of some of this uh, gear that we're not going to wear. That's still not enough. Oh, oh. And he's shooting arrows at me, so I can't. They're fighting me. Where are you going, you coward? Um, throw that away. Throw them away. They're no use. And the old boots. I'm just going to throw everything away <laughs> that we don't need. Hopefully with all of their equipment gone, I can run. No, I still cannot run. Come on, guy, we've been followed. Come on, then. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we can give him a mercy kill. Do we want to mercy kill him? Yeah. There we go. Just take him out. Who's next? He missed. Just strafing him. Missed again. I've got to be careful here, though. Oh, another one. Guess we'll have mercy on him, too. Well, not really. We're still going to kill him. Let's see what he's got on him. Take your bread. Uh, a cumin bowl might be interesting. Some dried fruit. I'm probably all filled up on dried fruit. That's probably the... Take your arrows. Yeah, I'll take all of them. Now, where did I kill the other guy? There he is. Thanks for all your help. Oh, I can take one of his ears. Sir Robard will pay six score groschen for it. Six score, that's like 120. I don't really... It's a cool looking helmet. Let's uh, have one of them, but I'm going to be really slow now. Come on, I thought you were a tough guy. Killing the bloody guys. I'd say it looked more like they were about to... They, they, they didn't. Now look, <laughs> gun grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? I don't know. A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
you're playing with fire, boy. I can have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own we're, we're learning how he likes to... Crush your balls! <laughs> yeah, okay. I ted that already. You're right. Those human swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse was bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. How am I going to get you home? I'll give you a piggyback. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here? Well, we've killed four. <laughs> quite enough excitement already. See, with the sword fighting, I'm not so bad. I'm, I, I get on okay. But with the arrows, I'm absolutely atrocious. <laughs> Not that I'd say that I was particularly great at the sword fighting skills. My, my parrying and things are still a bit. He's not going to die, is he? We saved Lord Capone from the humans. Send out more patrols. That won't do yep. us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat for every thicket in the beat them. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I mean, you could, but yeah, as you say, it would take a long time. Maybe just you, huge fire. For you, hands would be dead. You think I sent you out with him as a punishment? Are yeah, I'm not sure who you were punishing, to be honest. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your leech. That's why I'm taking my personal service. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, sir. Now let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Indeed, let's. Don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. Wait, what? Hey, let's celebrate. You get to pour all the drinks. And... I'm sorry to interrupt, sir. I suppose so. I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Oh, God. Cool. Tell us exactly. Exactly. Now. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smil is dead. <gasps> Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. Were they humans? Like babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop the Black Knight from uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yes, sir. My men at your disposal. Got your arm off. Turn their flesh wound. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Gullet. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. Well, I mean, there can. He might still have my sword. No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? As soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the court cool. for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. Oh, thank you. That would be amazing. His reward for saving Sir Hans. Tell I can ride around. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go. I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Sooner, if 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 possible, if if you can, you know, sooner. Yesterday, maybe. Okay, well, uh, that seems like as good a time as any tonight to uh, come to an end. We've managed to, uh, first of all, have some trouble with uh, with Hans, and then we. Find out he's actually a nice guy, and then we save him from some horrible people and kill a few of them while we're at it. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Uh, we'll be back to this at some point very soon, because uh, I am enjoying uh, enjoying going through this. Uh, if you are looking to find out when I'm going live, uh, you can see on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash supernotice. Um, there I'll announce all of my live streams as they're coming out. And also, if you want to look at any of my older streams or... Um, any of the other things that I'm recording for YouTube, 
Uh, on YouTube, my channel is Supernotice Streams. So if you want to watch that, that'd be great. If you are watching on that, if you like, you can uh, click a like on the video. Maybe, maybe subscribe too if you want. And uh, hit that bell for notifications. For now, thanks very much, guys. Um, and I'll see you all again next time. Good night. I should save my game first. And now that'll be it. So, thanks very much, guys, again, as I say. And I'll see you all again next time. Tomorrow will probably be... Um, I'll probably look into playing the Bridge Constructor Portal game that we started. Um, so, yeah, that's all to look forward to on our next stream. Good night for now, guys.